everyone. Welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. I'm Tom Baker. Sheldon Creed continued to build on his recent momentum in the NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series this weekend, competing at the Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. The former X Games gold medalist once again ran a strong and smooth race to finish in the seventh position. This following his sixth place performance on the previous weekend at the Iowa Speedway. Anthony Alfredo made his return to Truck Series competition at Gateway as well, this time behind the wheel of the number 17 for DGR Crosley Racing. Alfredo ran in the top 15 virtually the entire race and scored a solid 12th place finish for his efforts. Both Alfredo and Creed will strap into their trucks once again this weekend when the series rolls on to the Chicagoland Speedway. Oh, by the way, Alfredo will be back behind the wheel of the number 15. 14-year-old Mini Tyrell had his finest hour to date in a Cars Tour late model race at the Dominion Raceway in Virginia over the weekend. The Manassas Missile qualified third and ran with the leaders all night long, passing eventual winner Josh Berry early in the event for second at one point before a yellow flag put him back. Benny wound up with a fourth place finish and a huge smile on his face when the 125 lap race was over. His next race will be at the Carteret County Speedway on July 13th. Sam Mayer had an outstanding run at Worldwide Technology at Gateway in the ARCA race, but the fantastic performance unfortunately had another heartbreak ending, as Sam was leading on the last lap when eventual winner Ty Gibbs made contact and took over the position. Sam hung on for a bittersweet third place finish in his GMS Chevy. Adam Lemke showed a tremendous amount of heart and determination in that Cars Tour race at Dominion over the weekend as he rebounded from some early race issues that resulted in both fenders basically being knocked off the front of the car. A stop under the caution to put some band-aids on the bullet wound put him to the back of the field, but he fought valiantly, charging all the way back to a really nice 11th place finish. Both Lemke and Mini Tyrell are excited about the series next race at the beautiful Carteret County Speedway on the Carolina coast in a couple of weeks time. Alabama's Grant Thompson was in competition in Gator Country at the Five Flags Speedway in Florida over the weekend with a Southern Pro-Am Truck Series. He qualified fourth in a competitive field and started third following the pre-race invert. The pole sitter spun his tires on the original start, costing the inside row a few positions, but Grant never gave up, running down the leaders and passing his way to a third place finish at the checkers. He got a bonus after the event when he was actually credited with second following post-race tech. His next race will be on July the 6th at Mobile. Joe Valento was at Elko Speedway this weekend and had two solid top 10 finishes with a 10th in the first race and a 9th in the second race. He will be back at Elko Speedway for his next race with the Legends car. Jesse Love had a unique experience this past weekend. The 14-year-old didn't even get out of the airport in Las Vegas before finding out that the race he was flying to in Missouri was rained out. What does a young, driven racer do when a midget race gets rained out? He calls up his sprint car owner and lines up a ride for Placerville the next night. That's what. Jesse qualified inside the top 10 and started 11th in the A-Main. He spent much of the race trying to find grip, sliding back, then moving forward again. He ended up finishing right where he started in 11th place, but he says he learned a ton that he can apply the next time he hops in the car. Where is Jesse racing next week? Well, it depends on what day it is. He has an eight-day stretch of racing that encompasses multiple cars on multiple surfaces. Better eat an extra bowl of Wheaties there, Jesse. Finally, Connor Mozak scored a seventh and a 12th place finish at the Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night as he continues to gain experience in his limited late model stock car. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. Have you missed any of our previous episodes? No worries. You can catch up. Just go to raceface.tv 
on demand. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your community. We'll be back next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. Now go out there and make it a safe and successful racing weekend. I'm Tom Baker. Thanks for watching.